my name is Juice, and I'm back with another pickup. This time it's another one from the pawn shop. I went back and got these since they had their Valentine's Day sale. I picked these up yesterday, got them dirt cheap. And these are those size 16 shoes that I was talking about. And I did want a pair of these. And I went in there and saw these that they they were still there. Got them dirt cheap. They discounted. They put a heavy discount on them. And the thing that I like about them is the condition. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just the size is too big. I mean, look at the bottom. There's no drag at all or nothing. And um, sadly, I tried to make them work, but I just can't wear them. They're too too big. And uh, I put them up for sale. They sold the same day within maybe an hour. They sold. And I made a nice little profit on them. So I'm doing a little review on them before they before I ship them out. Which I'm about to do right now. I got the box ready. So let's go ahead and get into it. I do like the shoes, like I said. Because of the uppers, they have like a little gold flake look to them. As well as the outsole rubber. But the uppers have it too. It's not just a flat black color. You can see it better in the in the sun. It's got like a gold, it has gold flakes in it. And there's not much creasing on them. It's just a little bit. But like I said, I tried to wear them. I can't, they're just too big. So like I said, I put them up for sale. Somebody bought them. So at least they'll get to enjoy them. I think, yeah, these don't have any insoles in them. There's nothing in there. But there's no rips, no separation or anything on them. It's just the sizing is too big. I thought I could try and do something with them, but I couldn't. I can't even walk with those things on. So, just to give you an idea of how big they are, let me show you a comparison to a size 14. I got my Paris 14s, 10s, and the size 14. I'm going to put it next to this so you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I mean, look how small the size 14 looks compared to this. And they're right next to each other, so. Man, look at the size difference. The shoe is even a lot bigger. If you look at it from the side, it's a lot taller. So I can't do anything with them, but I mean, I'll find another pair eventually in my size because I see them pop up all the time. I think it's like a, a, a um, uh, what's the word that they use for these? I think it's bricks or setters. It was just a hated shoe that nobody wanted. But I like them. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for another pair of my size and get rid of these. So whoever whoever bought these, take care of them. There's nothing wrong with them. It's a nice shoe and everything, but I can't do nothing with it, like I said. So just a quick little review on them. Uh on these, um, I don't know if they're supposed to have a gold jump man on the insole, but I tried looking up a replacement insole for these, and a size 16 goes between anything between 30 to 60 dollars just for the insole. And um, I can't, I wasn't gonna spend that much on them, so I put some size 12s and 13s, and they only went up to like right here on the inside of them. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, it's just a Quick little pickup. I got another one coming up. After this video, I'm going to shoot another video of another shoe that's gone. And um, like I said, these sold. And I sold the Chicago One Customs. And the video coming up after this, you'll see in a minute. I should upload it right after this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I got a lot of things to do. Got to get these all these shoes shipped out. So I'll see you on the next one.